her first son, Hunter Biden, now awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty in a surprise move to all nine federal tax charges brought against him by special counsel David Weiss. The surprise plea coming just before jury selection was supposed to begin. Hunter's attorney, Abby Lowell, on what made Hunter change his mind. After watching prosecutors exploit his family's pain during the Delaware trial and realizing that they were planning to do it again here in California, Hunter decided to enter his plea to protect those he loves from unnecessary hurt and cruel humiliation. This case was an extreme and unusual one for the government to bring. Like millions of Americans, Hunter was late in filing and paying his taxes. Unlike those millions of Americans, he was charged criminally for his failures that occurred during the depths of his addiction to drugs and alcohol. Hunter put his family first today, and it was a brave and loving thing for him to do. The first son releasing a statement of his own last night on this decision. He writes, quote, I went on trial in Delaware, not realizing the anguish it would cause my family, and I will not put them through it again. When I was addicted, I wasn't thinking about my taxes. I was thinking about surviving. But the jury would never have heard that or know that I had paid every penny of my back taxes, including the penalties. Now, Hunter now faces a maximum of 17 years in prison and a fine of up to $1.3 million. White House Press Secretary Queen Jean-Pierre speaking on whether the president plans to pardon his son on his way out of office. Watch. I can say that uh, it, it is still very much a no to the questions that I've gotten about if the president's going to pardon his son, you, but I don't have anything else to add. Can you comment on whether a commutation would be on or off the table? That's also no. You know, Joe, what's interesting here is that that has been the question again. She repeated a no answer twice yesterday. But at the same time, you know, Jonathan Turley writes about what this has done and kind of the, the, the example of Hunter Biden. And he says there's no nice way to say that you are guilty. And he said that even at the plea hearing, Biden was shadowed by his sugar brother, Kevin Morris. This is the guy that bankrolled his lavish lifestyle. And Jonathan talks about all of the crowds of people that supported Hunter Biden during his addiction and are surrounding him now to basically they had tried to get him off the hook didn't didn't plan out that way let's be honest hunter biden is not facing 17 years in jail because hunter biden won the lottery of life he had a father who was wealthy influential and powerful in this country who was willing to to basically fund his lifestyle while he did nothing but drugs and alcohol and, and do other things that that by the way i don't I, I sympathize with addiction i don't condemn him for that sure but still he hit the lottery of life he will not face a day in jail that's why he took this 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 uh, plea uh, yesterday he knows that despite uh, Karine Jean-Pierre say, and by the way, her tell was that she said still. It is still a no, which means it's subject to change. Joe Biden, like any father, I'm a father, John, I think you're a father. <laughs> if I had the power to save my son's life and, and give him a second chance in one of my last acts as president, in one of my last acts on earth, you could rest assured I would do it. But his privilege, I think, is what was so on display during the gun case, mm -hmm. uh, where he surprisingly was found guilty, uh, even in a very Biden-friendly town, uh, if you'll recall. But it's the tax case that the prison time is really front and center. You think he's going to serve any time? He might serve a little bit of time. You have a very short sentence. I think it'll be commuted uh, very quickly. Uh, but what strikes me is where did all this money come from? My goodness. I mean, he owed a ridiculously large amount of back taxes. What in the what did he do to deserve all this money in the first place so that he could afford such a dissolute uh, lifestyle? It's, well, his last name was Biden. I and, think that's and, that's and, and that's Jonathan Turley's and, point. And, yeah. You know that every his and yeah. he, Jonathan said it every stage his bravado and defiance yeah. led to the worst possible outcome that they really can just blame themselves because right. he was so arrogant believing that he would get off uh, because he was Joe Biden's son.